Hi folks, Jorge Soto here with M5 Software. I'm going to present you today the route management module for the service management. I am assuming that you already watch the service management module because all of the concepts and notions apply, like skills, uh, geographical zones, everything. This is an addition to the service management module. In what cases do you apply? How do you know? How do you spot a customer that needs this? Uh, let's start giving you examples. We came across, for instance, a company that does street sweeping and snow plowing. So they have contracts with the uh, different parking lots for shopping centers or schools or whatnot. So those contracts say, I need you to come and sweep my parking lot three times a week, or I need it um, um, only once a month, or I need it every other Wednesday, things of that nature. And also, I need you to come in and I need you to power wash my um, parking lot because uh, we are a builder so we're building something and there's a lot there's construction so we uh, generate a lot of uh, dirt so we need I need you to come and wash the street once a week while the construction is on so this company have a lot of contracts they have like 50 machines that need to send those machines out for uh, a route, which is going to first sweep this parking lot, then this one, then this one. Sometimes they have 10, 20 um, uh, services that need to do around the city. We also came across another company that what they do is they pick up uh, meat scraps uh, from butchers, uh, from slaughterhouses, from restaurants. Uh, they also pick up uh, like uh, bones or they pick up uh, grease off of uh, restaurants like use uh, the, the ones they use for fryers. So they provide for this service. So then they have special trucks. Those trucks have different capacities or different um, um, functions that they can do that are compatible with those particular services. And then um, what they do is they go around the city picking up you know, in this restaurant, in that restaurant, and so on. So again, we have uh, to generate, they have, the, all those restaurants are under contract. They call it call-ins. That is a person, a company that just call in and say, I need a, a special one. Or we can have contracts where we, you say, I'm going to pick up uh, for them once a week, once a month, whatever. So that's the way you spot uh, that you need routes. So basically, the other characteristic of routes is that the appointments they don't have a specific time, so you don't need to confirm with the customer because the appointments are not exactly appointments. They're services that they're going to be fall one after the other. Internally, there are appointments in the system, but the time where it start and ends, it doesn't it doesn't matter that much. So the system will calculate and it'll go one after the other, one after the other. How does that work? So the way it works is that we have. Um, First, you need to configure what we call vehicles and vehicle types. So in vehicle types is how you group them, vehicles by function or by uh, things that can vehicle can do. So in other words, we can have vehicles that can do, uh, in this, this example, by the way, this is a company that needs to refill coffee at different um, uh, offices around New York. So they have contracts where they provide, you know, they need to deliver that coffee once a week or, or, or whatever. And then here the skills are required for that particular vehicle type or route type. And then, of course, we have the vehicles where you define the vehicles itself themselves that you're going to be using in the route. The next thing will be to define the contracts. So they're very similar to the equipment maintenance contracts. So what it is is that we... I'm going to select one a customer here. So here we have a contract. So for Ted, we're doing um, weekly Sundays and Thursdays. Um, and then here's the routes that by default we will be using on Saturdays, for instance, or any given day. So we can set that, that we're doing uh, uh, this in this route. Then we have the service details. This is the services that we will be doing in this, in this, when this appointment gets generated. Um, and then other details that allows the system to generate when we run the route generation to do that. The next step will be to define the route template. The route template is like what could happen in theory in that route, meaning if everybody would be on 
because we talk about uh, patterns. So one customer could be Wednesday, the other could be one one every other Wednesday, and things of that nature. So not everybody's going to fall on the same on, on the same time, the same day. But the route template is if everybody lands in that particular day, then this will this is the way that it'll look like. So over here we open the route template and that will show the list of customers with our contract that we will be doing. So this is route nine and route nine will have all these customers. It'll have Pentagram, Tumblr, IDEO, Birchbox, Pandora. So these are the clients that they will have in that particular route any day of the week. We can also narrow it down. So here we have the sequence. And the sequence is in what order will, you will naturally do them. We're not providing optimization for this in this version, but in the next release, we'll provide with an optimization of this. So in other words, if you have all the contracts, it will tell you what this is like. So right now, what we're providing is, I'm going to show you later um, in the demo, how will you visualize all these in using Google Maps to make sure and how would you arrange them in order to make sure that the route makes sense in any particular given day. So this is just a template uh, for if everybody would be in that route that day. That is not going to happen again because this one is uh, every Wednesday, the other one is every Friday or any day of the week. So let me see if I can filter this to Saturday. So Saturdays will be, uh, it'll look like this. So this is going to be just Saturdays. And we can also see through like shift. I forgot to mention that we work with shift because some companies they have like morning shift and afternoon shift or day shift and night shift. So that happens uh, a lot. For instance, with this street sweeping company, they have day shift and night shifts. Once we have the contract, uh, the route uh, template maintenance, then we should go to the route generation. So this screen again is like the contract appointment generator, the equivalent of the appointment. Uh, a generator that we have in equipment maintenance, only that this works for routes. So what this will do, you can schedule this automatically. So companies normally will do this every day or every every week. So at the beginning of the week, you know, you can plan your routes for all the week, throughout the week. And then once we run this, it'll generate, it'll land down to this route worksheet. This worksheet is, we call it worksheet because this is where you're going to work it out and assign for instance, the driver, this is where you assign the driver or the vehicle. If we open um, the assigned vehicle, it allows you to choose what vehicle based on the function of that vehicle, if it's compatible with the route type that you're doing. And as same with the driver, so if the driver has skills that are required and knows the route, so it'll tell you that. So you can select the driver or the vehicle in this point. We can see the number of appointments, the total services, the total duration of the whole route, this, uh, and also the total travel time. So any of these looks wrong, then you might have a problem. Maybe you got too many appointments in that route, so you have to reassign them. So if we drill down to any of this, we open the route details, and this is going to show the details of that particular route. The route template will now be converted into a document number. So this is a route, uh, the route document number five. Uh, which is belongs to the afternoon shift of Route 21, and the driver is this and this, and this is the start time and the end time, and we have also the statistics. So we have seven appointments, uh, the total services duration, the total driver time, and the total duration of the route. So these are all the appointments that they need to do. In this case, this customer leaks contract replenishment. This is a refilling the coffee or this one we, it will have the uh, the coffee machine filter replacement and things like that so this can be any kind of services that you're doing in a, in this fashion the route detail as well can be opened via um, the map so we can see routes on map and this is the same kind of function but only it's plotting the routes on the map so over here, if we select one, we see the details on the bottom. So we see that it's nine hours, three and a half miles, uh, five appointments, etc. So I'm going to turn off some of them. So this is one given route here. 
So let's say I want to play around with this because I don't like this order of things. So I'm going to change this. So I'm going to switch this one to here. And then once I do reply. So this is a way that the, I rearrange the points and I make it more complex. Maybe it needs to happen in that way for a particular reason. But this is a way to look. So this is another way it would look. So you can play around until you manage to see that what is going to be the time in that. If we click on any of these points, it's going to show us which point in the map is showing us. You can see on the right, this is bouncing. And this is interacting with Google Maps. This is Google Maps embedded right into Acumatica. Here we see the route. Again, the route details, so we can see what's going on with that. And it'll log into Google Maps, and it'll calculate the driving time between those two points. And that's how we come out with this. OK, just to wrap up, um, the service management module is the one that will invoice this. We have many ways of invoicing, meaning if you have services, three services in a week, you can say, I'm going to, we have a billing group, so we can bill like every week or every month or whatever, so you can group different services and generate the invoices. We're coming up with a mobile app that will track the time, the real time of driving, so we'll have this a version of this screen that is going to be showing. Uh, real time what's going on with the mobile app. Okay, so this module again sits on top of the service management so uh, clients that need this will require the service management as well uh, because it provides the foundation of, of, of for everything that you saw here today. Thank you a lot for watching. If you need uh, more information uh, contact us via our website m5-software.com and we will uh, prepare a custom demo to your needs. Thank you so much. Have a great day.